everybody, Moneybag73 here. Hope you're all starting to feel a little more comfortable in your new reality. But I wouldn't get too comfortable because it seems like the waves of changes are going to continue to come. I just went to Staples three nights ago, picked up a bunch of boxes for my wife's small business. And it looked like the Staples on the left. I get home, I'm on the computer, and I see someone talk about they had worked at Staples and it had always been the one on the left. And now it's the one on the right. And I was like, oh, that looks weird. I don't know. I've never seen that before. So I go look online. And what do I find? I find 1986 to 1994. That's the Staples logo right there on Logopedia. 1994 to present. That's what it's always been. So today we had to take a drive and go pick up something for my wife's business. And we drive by Staples. So I think to myself, okay, here's an opportunity. To ask my wife, do you remember that little staple there as an L? And so she, it looks odd to her. I can tell it looked odd to her. She's like, no, oh, maybe. I mean, what do you mean maybe? I mean, <laughs> maybe it was, maybe that's what it was. But maybe it wasn't. So then she started thinking about it. And I think she agrees with me that it looked odd. I mean, we're having, I'm finally having some breakthroughs with my wife who never saw any changes. Because I just can't stop talking about this. I mean, it. My whole reality has shifted and I'm supposed to just be quiet about it and go along like, you know, like nothing ever happened. I mean, come on. So, Tostinos, she spelled with an S when I asked her. And then the video I just did, the Vlasic, I, I showed her V-L-A-S-S-I-C. I said, have you ever seen these pickles? Yeah, you know, we buy those for our daughter. And I'm like, yeah, okay, these never existed. And then I showed her the other one and she's like, Oh, okay. I guess that's what they were. So, I, it's kind of a weird thing. It's like, maybe she hasn't shifted yet, but maybe a few more things I keep showing her and then, boom, she'll just flip. Flip over and just shift. <laughs> Quantum leap. I mean, whatever. I don't know. It's a weird thing. It seems I'm thinking that people are seeing my videos and I may cause a shift, my videos, or other people that are doing videos similar to this, are causing people to shift at that moment. I feel like my son caused me to shift when he first asked me those questions. Back in the video I did in March, he asked me about Looney Tunes and, and some other questions, and I got them all wrong. And then I, it feels like, like he caused me to shift. My awareness and consciousness shifted at that moment, and then I went on this journey of finding everything that was different. But I had not noticed any of it up until that point. So it seems like uh, people are shifting in waves. And then the, the in, things continue to shift once you shift. So I don't. this whole thing is just totally bizarre and insane. But I have someone I found that I want to direct you to. She talks about a new earth and waves of people that, you know, uh, spirits, souls that have cho chosen to be here at this time to help raise the vibration because the earth is evolving and it's the it's you know it'll either take us with it or leave it behind but she also talks about two earths that have split like you see a cell where it has it splits into two she talks about the two earths splitting this is the lady here dolores cannon and let's see the convoluted universe three waves and the new earth so you're going to want to check this channel out if you're extremely affected by this phenomenon that's been going on. You definitely want to listen to this. It, the, the bell was ringing. The, you know, <laughs> the truth bell was ringing when I was listening to this. She's done 50 years of past life, regression, hypnotic, talking to people's subconscious minds for 50 years. It's incredible to listen to this woman speak. She, I believe she just passed away a couple of years ago. Um... So anyway, I wanted to point out here real quick, the Staples Center. Now, I was looking at, this is kind of odd. You see Staples Center with the uh, staple in the L here, and you see it here, but here you don't. So I don't know if they changed it or what, but it's always had this L. But why did it have the staples I remember up there? So I don't know. You see both all across here. Staple and then regular L. So I don't know. I, don't, I just want to point that out. I don't know what's happening there. But um, yeah, so 
Please sum up this video if it's always been the one on the left, the staples I always remember. Please thumb down the video if it's the uh, one on the right. If you've always remembered the little staple there is the L, please thumb down this video. So this will be number, I'm losing track now. <laughs> I mean, these. I'm not even having to try to look for this stuff. It's just happening, it's starting to speed up for me. I don't know, it's different for other people, but um, this will be number 11 or 12. I, I really can't remember. Pretty soon I'll be doing number 20, but of the voting videos. So I enjoy looking back on the other ones. I've had other people tell me they like these videos. I think it'll be important later on. Uh, as we can look back on these. So I'm just going to continue with these. I had someone mention that he would like an economic update. At some point, when things really heat up, I will talk about economics again. I believe the dollar will collapse at some point in the future. This whole system's coming down. This whole control system, the whole religious system, the belief system. We're moving into a time of, of knowledge and knowing. And, you know, that's what the... That's what the age of Aquarius is all about. It's about knowing. We're leaving the age of Pisces with the two fish and Jesus feeding 5,000 people with two fish and five loaves of bread. I mean, he was the great fisherman. We're moving into a time of the water bearer. So I've done other videos with that type of information. It's in this incredible time to be alive. It's just... It's incredible to research things and to break away from the brainwashing of just a certain, you know, one single discipline. You have to take into scope all the information. I had one person telling me, you know, when I, the videos that I made about the prophecies of the American Indians and stuff and the South American Incas, they said, well, there's lots of prophecies that relate to Jesus in the Bible and that's all you need. And I'm thinking, all right, go tell that to the American Indians. I mean, you sound like a damn conquistador the way you're talking. I mean, people need to expand their awareness and not just stay locked in to this tunnel vision. But anyway, I'm getting way off track. Thumb up, staples with a regular looking L. <laughs> Thumb down the video if you remember the crazy little um, stable looking L. I'll talk to you all soon.